What's up everybody? As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna talk about Casey saying that he's switching to the Canon 6D Mark II for all of his vlogging. Now, I've been using the 6D Mark II, which is what I'm shooting with right now with a 16 to 35 2.8 version three. I've been using this for vlogging since this camera came out. Now, a lot of people have riffed on the 6D Mark II for being a terrible quote unquote camera that the specs are old and the specs aren't great. And that's beside the point. But as a vlogging camera, it does almost everything that you need. Now, Casey points out a couple of things. He talks about how he's not shooting 4K anymore because it just takes a lot of extra work. It's a lot more editing power. It takes up more space and you really don't need to deliver these things in 4K. Now, Todd brought up a cool point that is if you're shooting in 4K, and you're doing a close up just like I'm doing right here, you don't really need to cut in even closer because we're already doing a headshot just like this. He also brought up, not Todd, but Casey brought up the point that he wants better focus. He, he's been using the GH5 from Panasonic, which so many people out there are like, this is the greatest camera since sliced bread. And yeah, it offers so much in the way of bit rate and options and all of this stuff, but the autofocus is terrible and Casey's autofocus has been missing quite a bit on the background because it's just that, that GH5 isn't very good in terms of focus in continuous autofocus. And this, this one, the 6D Mark II, so much better because Canon's dual pixel AF is incredible. The other point that he brought up, let me check my notes. The other point is, 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 oh yes, the depth of field. I made, I actually made some notes, look. I made some notes. Depth of field, you're using a full frame sensor here whereas the GH5 is not a full frame sensor. It's much smaller and you're not getting the same depth of field. We tested that camera out ourselves here and, and on, the, uh, on the, uh, the Photo News Fix site downstairs on the set, it just didn't work out so well for us because the depth of field just didn't look the same. Now other people out there like Peter McKinnon tested out the 6D Mark II and sees that he could take it out with him and use it because it's a great camera. Now for him, it's missing the the 120. You don't have the 120 slow motion like the, the, the 1DX Mark II that he had, but for the majority of the things that a lot of vloggers and shooters are doing, this camera, the 6D Mark II, is giving them everything that they need. And then to anybody out there who's sitting there saying, well, Canon must be paying all these people to go out there and use this 6D Mark II because everybody actually hated it. No, that's not the case. Canon's not paying me to say this to, that, to, to you guys. Canon's not paying Casey to use the camera. Canon's not paying Peter McKinnon to come out here and switch to use the camera. It's just not the case. People use what the right tool is for them. And in this case, the 6D Mark II is the right tool for a lot of the vloggers out there. And I totally get, here's another thing. If somebody like Peter or Casey is gonna go ahead and make content, no matter what you put in their hand, they're gonna tell the best story. And they're gonna, they're gonna capture and create something that works. And that's the point. No matter what you're using, if it's a GH5, so be it, you're using it. If you can tell a good story, if you know what you're doing, you're gonna make something cinematic, you're gonna be able to do it with anything. And Peter proves that every day when he goes out and makes his vlogs, because just look at them, they look great. And you can't tell when it's a 6D Mark II or a cell, well, you can probably tell when it's a cell phone sometimes, but really the point of this video is Casey switched over to the 6D Mark II for the same reasons that I've been using this camera since it came out for vlogging. Great autofocus, you cannot beat the dual pixel AF and the, um, and the fact that it's a full frame sensor and you get great depth of field. It's still pretty heavy and my arm is starting to hurt, so I'm gonna end it right there. Guys, have a happy new year. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I really appreciate it and we'll be back. Well, I'm not going very far, but new year, more videos, more stuff. Todd, you wanna say goodbye? Say goodbye. Oh. Happy New Year! Boom! All right, guys. That's it. That's it. 60 Mark II vlogging. That's my thoughts. Bye.